Hi, I'm Holly from Dolly and Rhonda, and today I'm going to show you how to get Reese with a Spoon style hair. So, as you know, day to day, Reese with a Spoon is quite a relaxed daytime look, usually just poker straight, but when she's on the red carpet, she goes for full on glamour. So, today we're going to try and recreate one of her red carpet updos. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a deep side parting in around the arch of your eyebrow, and then pull this hair by three sections wide back over to the other side. The section should stop just at the arch of your other eyebrow. So once you've this sectioned off, brush it through, pop in a bit of mousse to give it some grip and back home it slightly at the roots. Curl this section using a curling wand into quite a tight curl and remembering to curl away from your face. You're going to want to hold this for about 10 seconds and then remove the curling wand, pin into place and leave to cool. We're going to come back to this section later. So now you're going to work on the rest of your hair. So you're going to want to split the remaining hair in half, just at about ear level. When you've sectioned off the bottom half of the hair, take the top section and section it again, this time leaving a one inch rim around the half circle. Pop the lower section into a ponytail and we're going to deal with this later. So now concentrating on the top section, apart from the one inch section that you've left, take the middle section and split into three, back combing through the length of the hair, so you're left with quite a stiff section of hair. So this hair is going to form the basis for the volume of the style. So taking the entire section of hair that you've back combed, roll it into place, pinning it into place with a few curvy grips, so it forms a bump. So depending on how much volume you want, you can make it into any size you like, but remember to keep it in a half moon shape. So with the one inch section that you've left to one side, take this and back home it slightly, but remember to keep it smooth and start to use it to cover the bump, pinning into place as you go. So use any hair that you've left to one side to cover the bump entirely, so you should be left with quite a sleek but volumized bump. So now that you've that done, just keep it in place with a bit of hairspray, making sure to spray back any kind of flyaway hairs because you want this look to be quite sleek. So with the remaining section of hair at the bottom, you can curl this gently and leave it down, or you can pin it up to incorporate it into the updo, so that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to back comb it through the lens just to give it a bit of volume and grip. So then we're going to split this into two to make it more manageable and taking the first of these two sections, roll it on your fingers back towards the head and then pin into place. So this might take a few goes to get right but don't worry, just keep on trying until you have a shape and a size that you're happy with and then pop it into place with a couple of curvy grips. So now just do the exact same thing with the second section. So when you've both rolls done, Make sure to connect them at the back using a curvy grip so you have quite a seamless and flawless appearance. So again, spray a good bit of hairspray on this just to keep it in place and smooth way on the flyaway hairs. So now that the bulk of the hairstyle is done, we're going to go back to the front of the hair and brush out the curl that we pinned into place earlier. So all I'm going to do is to very gently brush through this curl using quite a large brush or a wide tooth comb. So the look of the curls will depend on the length of your hair. So if you have shorter layers at the front, the curls will be smaller, like on our model. But then if you have longer hair, it'll be more like an entire wave. So all I've done here is to pin the longest curl in against the head and then leave the shorter layers, which created quite cute pin curls. Just leave them free. So I've left this look plain, but if you like, you can add some jewellery or even some flowers, or even a veil if you're getting married, just to create that real glamorous Hollywood look. And that's how you do Reese with a Spoon red carpet style hair. 